Affinity's version 2.0 was a massive upgrade from the previous one with lots of new features to play with. But I stand by that this one feature has made the upgrade more worthwhile than any other. And that is Content Link. So today let's go through how to set it up and show you just how easy I'm about to make your life in the Affinity Suite. All right, so what is Content Link? So it works with assets, it works with brushes, it works with styles, and I think one other thing which I can't remember right now. And, and literally, I'm about to make your life so easy, it's, it's crazy. So here we just have Affinity Design, and we're gonna do this with the assets panel. So in fact, I'm gonna bring this right front center. So right now, I have these assets which I've created myself, and you can see that there is a little link icon in the corner. And what that means is that this category is already set on the content link. So if we go to a different assets pack, which we'll pick any of these other ones. So let's pick this game icons for example now what content link does is it links the content between the three apps so between designer photo and publisher so right now in affinity photo we don't have any game icons and similarly in publisher we don't have any game icons either so we're heading back to designer all we do is we head up to the three lines here or the hamburger menu now make sure you click on this one right at the top not the one down in the little subcategory it's got to be the one at the top open that and we literally just hit link category now once you do that it can take a little bit of time to load depending on how many assets you've got in there will depend on how long it actually takes but literally just like that you know it's done because there's a tiny little link right there now without doing anything else if we head straight over to photo and open our drop down box we have our game icons so just like that we've got all the same assets we had in designer and we can drag and drop these into here and don't forget if we check publisher we've also got our game icons so literally we have the same assets in the three apps for whenever we need them not only that but they also update as we go so for example let's just make a simple circle and what we'll do is we'll drag this into the assets panel and drop it right in there we've just created ourselves a new asset head over to photo and without me doing anything it's literally right there same thing with publisher it's right there I haven't done anything else. I've literally just gone to the app. So in fact, I'm about to ruin your brains now. Up in the top left here, we have designer. Down in the bottom left here, we have photo. And on the right here, we have publisher. Watch how the assets literally automatically sync. So we're gonna use a red circle this time, so it's a bit more obvious. Drag, drop, and literally just like that, all three have just popped up at the same time. There will be a slight delay, in terms of loading and how big your asset pack is and the syncing and everything like that, but it works and it's amazing. Now you can also do this with brushes, which I think is probably just as important. So if we head into photo here, and if we, let's say, edited a brush, you can actually see that all the brushes are already linked. So if we made a brush and it was within one of these linked categories, it would sync over to Affinity Designer's Pixel Persona, and we could use the same brushes both in photo and in designer without actually having to worry about anything. So if we made a simple brush, so right down here, I've just made this square brush here and it's in our basics category. If we now head over to designer and go into the pixel persona, cause that's where the pixel brushes are, go to brushes, which I've got at the top here, make sure we're in the same category, head all the way down and we've got ourselves our square brush to use whenever we want. And then if actually we wanted to use it in photo, we could grab the same brush here and paint what we want. Or if we wanted to use it in publisher, what we technically do is go into the photo persona of publisher which has all the same things as photo anyway head over to the brushes and then in basic we've got our square brush right at the bottom we can do what painting we want the content link is literally my favorite thing of this new version but like i said what you can link is you can link assets brushes styles and also swatches as well so in designer here we've got our swatches panel which you can see that the other ones here are already linked but these brand colors which are my brand colors aren't so all we would do is within our swatches here head over to the three lines at the top click that go to link palette click that you can see it changes into a link icon we head over to something like say publisher go to swatches and right down here we have our brand colors which now seamlessly i can do what i want very easily and if i add any swatches in here they will automatically update. Truly the best thing about this version. So this is what's made the upgrade most worth it for me. Hopefully this improves your workflow and drop down in the comments what feature you actually find the most useful since this upgrade. While you're down there, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit subscribe for more videos like this. If you haven't already, make sure you check out this video right here. And as always, I've been Brown Bear. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.